Hey guys, it's Ronnie here from Southern Food Junkie. I know it's been a while, but we're coming back and we're gonna show you a little recipe. I uh, hope everybody's been doing good since the, uh, the virus and all. But um, today we're gonna share with you a chicken recipe that I found on Facebook. I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit, the Southern Food Junkie way, so let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna start with a whole bottle of sweet, this is called Sweet Baby Ray's Crock Pot Chicken. And you're gonna start with a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's sauce. Um, I actually have a super large bottle, so we're just gonna put what we got in here. All right, that's good enough. We're gonna add a little bit of Texas Pete in there, because what's, what's the recipe without Texas Pete? Uh, it calls for a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm gonna actually use apple cider vinegar. I'll put everything in the description below so you'll know exactly what to use. One teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Of course, you can put more of that if you want, more or less. One teaspoon of garlic powder and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix everything together oh we got to put in our brown sugar too quarter cup of brown sugar what we're gonna do is, is whisk this really good together till it incorporates really well and then we're gonna pour it over top of our chicken I'm gonna add in a whole onion and some bell pepper just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. This basically makes, turns it into like a, um, a uh, vinegar, vinegar style barbecue sauce. You can put, you know, chicken can be frozen or not. Okay guys, we're gonna take these uh, bell pepper. We're gonna go right in here with them. When I get bell pepper, I cut them up and I go ahead and freeze them. That way they last for a long time. And then as I use them, I just take them out of the uh, freezer, chop them up the way I want and put them in my food, incorporate it. Let's get the onion now. I'll save all this to put in my compost. And I'm just gonna slice these like this real thin. Probably gonna save a little bit of this onion to put in uh, with our um, potato salad. And we're just gonna go right in the crock pot with these two. That's probably about all I'm gonna put in there with that. All right, then we'll let this cook. Once it's cooked a little bit, I'll separate that chicken in a little while. I'll bring you back to show you what it looks like. All right, guys, this is gonna go in a crock pot on low for four to six hours. Like I said, recipe will be in the description below. Let's take a look at it after I got it all mixed. That's gonna look really good. All right, we're just checking back in on the uh, chicken. I do wanna note that I did add a few pepperoncinis in there too. It looks really good. Uh, the sauce really thinned out. I kinda like the sauce to thicken up, but in a crock pot, that's typically what it does. But uh, we'll taste this chicken in a little bit. We made some uh, potato salad to go with it. We'll probably have some type of a vegetable. All right, guys, the chicken is done. Showed you a video just a minute ago of what it looks like. We're gonna give it a taste right quick. Everybody knows they love a good taste test. Man. That's really good. You got a little bit of bite to it, heat from that, um, from those pepper flakes. It's not too much. You can definitely taste that vinegar in there. And the sweetness from the, the molasses and the uh, barbecue sauce and that extra um, brown sugar we put in. And you taste those uh, bell pepper. Really gives it a good flavor. I'm thinking this is really be good for uh, some, some boneless pork chops to try in here. I'm going to try that on it next time, but... All right, guys, uh, appreciate y'all watching. Sorry it's been so long. Let's get food junk.